Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your attendance at this year's virtual Walk to Remember. And we are deeply saddened that you have experienced such a profound loss in your life. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan proclaimed October as Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Beginning that year and every year since, families have gathered across the nation to walk in memory of the loss of their babies through miscarriage, tubal pregnancy, stillbirth, neonatal, or infant birth. The loss is profound as your child represented your heritage and your future. Often, few outside your immediate family knew of your baby, often leaving you feeling very alone and at a loss of how to tell others. Some may not have had an opportunity to memorialize your pregnancy or infant loss through formal services. And some of you may not have tangible items to hold on to that provide comfort in your grief. The Walk to Remember offers you the opportunity to formally remember and honor your babies, and perhaps even share with siblings about their brother or sister. We are grateful to be here with you today to help you remember and honor your beloved infant. Today, we remember the babies born sleeping, those we carried but never held, those we held but could not take home, and those who came home but could not stay. We honor and remember the following babies. Christopher Thomas Bacon, Zoe Bailey, Saya Bolingbroke, Baby Bolingbroke, Paige Elizabeth Brown, Macy Shea Clendaniel, Noelle Collins, Baby Hayden, Dustin Allen Hennessy, Hayden Adara Hudson, Jacob Kiloa Lopez, Joseph Aquila Kiloa Lopez, Carla Louise Kraft, <clears throat> Alicia Marie Kraft, Mary Susan Kraft, three unborn Kraft babies, Chase J. McQuaid, Marvin Thomas Mariner, Ashton Oscar, Autumn Oscar, Addison Kiernan Quay, Zoe Alejandra Ruiz, Baby Smith, P. Smith, Benjamin Wilson Snyder, Joy Antoinette Sullivan, Kenneth Tucker Jr., Caleb Tyndall, Derek Walker, Jonathan Warren Walls, Daniel Walters, Nicholas Walters, Sanaya Williams, Dominique Wilson, William Wilson, six unborn Wilson babies, Todd Arnez Sincere Wilson, Wilson Babies, and Baby Wright. May we always remember them and keep them in our hearts. Here, linked by the internet and connected by our shared stories, we continue to support one another, embracing life's limits and love's endurance. For a moment, let us remember back to the first rush of feelings, those days of hope and of wonder, the hours of fear. For a moment, let us remember back to the hard gray cocoon of grief through which abiding love 
had to struggle for a moment. Let us remember back to the beauty of our loving memories as they emerged, renewing the colors of the world. Like our treasured memories, those held deep in the soul and lifted to God in healing prayers, we release butterflies and in their rising up, we renew our spirits. Today we celebrate heaven's children and we honor the ways their tender presence continues in our lives. Love is fragile, to be handled gently, just like a butterfly's delicate wings. Love is strong and can carry us far, just like a butterfly's determined wings. And love dwells amid a rainbow of feelings, just like the colorful butterflies' wings. As butterflies take flight, may the joy of their flashing colors encourage our hearts, and may the strength of their wings carry our prayers. On this day, as we walk and remember, A Walk to Remember by Kathy Mayo, 1986. I walk to remember the steps you'll never take. I carry you with me as I firmly plant my feet. Our trek started long ago before my belly swelled. You were a love that grew like butterfly wings that beat. Your gentle flutters then became kicks upon which I would dwell. And I would talk to you, sweet babe, about the world you soon would meet. The sun always shone upon us then, when you were in my womb, and I was eager to show you the world that would have been your home. How you would have loved the sun shining, the blue skies without a cloud, the autumn leaves turning, the snow falling all around. The flowers in the summer would have filled your eyes with smiles, and the rain that might have fallen would have caused you great surprise. You would have traveled far with me, holding me by the hand, and I, have shown you all I could more than I can imagine. I hold you in my heart tightly now, as though we're holding hands. As far we've traveled, little one, and my life with you has been sweet. For I carry you in my heart as I firmly plant my feet, and I walk to remember. In closing, I invite you to join us in a prayer of remembrance. Patient and abiding God, we give thanks for the blessings of this day and for the gentle strength of relationships that bring us comfort and hold us tenderly. We give thanks for the gift of memory placed by you in our minds and in our hearts. And we give thanks for your presence journeying with us through every day of our lives. Make your sweet presence known to us, O oh God. Nourish our souls with patience until we are reunited with those we love. Comfort us when we need comforting. Smile with us when joy comes upon us. And by the might of your spirit, assure us that the children from whom we long and who remain alive in our hearts are held safely in your loving arms. Amen.